fans. We got another Ask Miss Frank Up question. This one from Twitter. They want to know, since you're not in the chase, how do you approach the Monster Mile? Let's get the answers. Well, I think that, you know, I've been on both sides of the fence here. I've been on the I've been on the deal where we're in the chase. I've been on the deal where we're not in the chase. And one thing's clear to me is that if you made this race, the racetrack belongs to you as much as it does for somebody else. Having said that, the last thing you want to do is be involved in a situation with a chase guy and take away an opportunity for him to win a championship. But he can't use that against you. You know, he can't take that and say, well, I can do whatever I want because he has a lot to lose too. So in my world, I think you race – like you always race, but at the same time, give a little bit of a break. I'm not saying let the guy pass you. I'm not saying anything like that. But be a little more cautious so that you don't make a mistake around a chase guy, um, especially these first few races. What's going to happen over the next four or five weeks, people are going to start eliminating themselves. Okay, Then you have less and less people you got to worry about. But right now, in today's race, every chase guy still feels like they have a shot to win a championship, and they do. So I think... Early in the chase is a little more difficult. Later in the chase, you know, it tends to, you know, people start eliminating themselves and it doesn't matter so much. But, but right now, I think you've really got to be cautious. But, but again, you're not giving a spot. You're not you know, letting a guy pass you. You're not doing any of those. You just don't want to be in an incident with those guys. Those are some great answers. Keep those questions coming. Tweet us at Ms. Springdrop with the hashtag AskMSC.